Hey community, Mitchell here. Hope you have had a great week. The weather is starting to turn warmer, which is none other than a sign that God loves us. It's obvious. So hope you've had a chance to get outside, enjoy the sun, soak in that vitamin D, and uh, what, a, what a blessing it's been this week. But I hope you are planning to join us this weekend. Uh, we are continuing this series, Refresh. Uh, we are going to be in week three, and I think this is the perfect series. I've said it in service. You know, there's not a more appropriate idea or sort of thing that we're doing as we, you know, gather in person again, uh, as we sort of, you know, are in the, the one-year uh, uh, anniversary of the pandemic uh, then to refresh, to hit the reset button. I think it's what we need. It's what God is calling us to do, really, to refresh our lives, to reorient our lives around the teachings, around the ways of Jesus. That's what it means to refresh. And uh, so I hope you'll join us this weekend. Uh, this weekend, we're talking about uh, loving people in the church. You know, we introduced this you know, loving God last week. What does that look like? This week, we're talking about loving people in the church. And you probably don't need to even join us for services because that's just such an easy thing to do, right? <laughs> Sarcasm. Uh, it is challenging. It can be hard, difficult, but we are going to talk this weekend about why it is so critical for us as Christ followers to be in community with other people, to be in relationship with other people in the church. So I hope you'll join us online, in person. Again, don't forget to register. Um, our 1030 service has a few more seats available uh, as opposed to the 930. If you are thinking about coming, wondering maybe which service has more spots open, it's the 1030. Uh, 9 o'clock and 1030, don't forget to register. Our team is waiting for you on Sunday. We can't wait to see you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So remember, Kid City opens on the 21st, uh, opens on the 21st. And I can't wait for that, uh, mostly because last week I had trouble keeping track of my three-year-old son running around the building during the service. Um, so yeah, pastor's kid, it's already starting. Uh, but love you all. Hope you'll join us this weekend for continuing refresh and get outside and be refreshed. See how I did that? See you Sunday.